The Arcade Library has been open in this part of the museum since 2011, but of course the original library goes back to when the museum first opened in 1937. It's open to absolutely everybody, to the public, and it's completely free. The story of Mutiny on the Bounty and Captain William Bly is fairly well known. What's less well known is that this is the Bounty's copy of a medical almanac, like a medical textbook of the day. Considering its history, it's actually in remarkably good condition. Some of us, is, uh, despite the passage of time, is still quite familiar and makes sense today. He talks about the importance of a good diet, of a lot of fresh air and exercise, and he says, the man who pays a proper attention to these will seldom need the physician, and he who does not will seldom enjoy health, let him employ as many physicians as he pleases. Now he talks about the passions, and by that he means things that get us hot under the collar, you know, the dangers of anger or fear, and in this case he talks about love. And his advice is in some ways perhaps still holds true today. There is no passion with which people are so ready to tamper as love, although none is more dangerous. 25 years separate the publication of these two books. This is William Turnbull's Naval Surgeon. And this dates from 1806. And it's quite different in focus. The first clue is in the title. It's not a general medical almanac. It's a much more focused document. It says, the Naval Surgeon, comprising the entire duties of professional men at sea. As soon as you turn the page in Turnbull's book, the emphasis is immediately very different. William Buchan's book doesn't have a single illustration. It's important to remember that the common sailors, most of them, couldn't read. So it was almost a badge of office to have this on your bookshelf. The two make an interesting comparison because it shows the evolving nature of medical knowledge. It's quite amazing that only 25 years separate them, but the change in emphasis and focus is very obvious, very apparent. You're always discovering new material within the collection. I really feel, even after 10 years, that there's a lifetime's work here, just getting to know what we've got.